Hi, welcome. This is Patty Bennett. How are you today? I am so excited that you're joining me. This is one of my weekly Facebook Lives. Every Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, I am here live with you. So if you see the little red live button up there, you have found me live. You might be watching a replay, which is great as well. So welcome. So glad that you're here. And I will be chatting about some really pretty new butterfly cards. They are amazing. I hope you like them. I have 10 to share with you. And then I will be taking some questions. I wanted to talk to you about the awesome opportunity to join Stampin' Up! during celebration. So welcome. I, I am just a moment early on the live, so I am just going to catch all of it. I see lots of you signing on here. Yep. Okay. Hi, Tammy, Jason, Patricia, Robin, Vicki, Jackie, Joyce, Melissa, so many people. I'm just glancing down at my iPad. So welcome. I am so happy that you're joining me. If you're joining me live today, I can see your comments or, you know, if technology cooperates, I can see your comments. So we will be doing some Q&A today and I want you to get ready with your questions when I tell you to ask questions that you might have. And then we will be looking at all these great new butterfly bouquet samples. Oh, they're so pretty. You're going to love them. You're going to love them. All right, so I think we are at the top of the hour, and I want to officially say welcome. This is Patty Bennett. I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for almost 26 years, so over 25 and a half years, and it has been an amazing, amazing journey. I absolutely love sharing my Stampin' Up! creations through my blog every day at pattystamps.com. I love sharing through social media. I use Facebook here, as you know. I also use Instagram and I post on YouTube. So different ways that you can find me, of course. And then I have such a wonderful community of both customers and Love to Stamp group demonstrators, as well as demonstrators all around the world. So this has just been so amazing that I can connect with other crafters and stampers. And then of course, with this past year of the whole COVID and shelter in place, this has been awesome that this is a place where we can come together and meet either weekly or if you, maybe you follow me daily, which that would be wonderful on my blog or um, on social media. So I'm just so grateful that everything has just been like it's culminated to this point over the last 25 years because, you know, when I started with Stampin' Up! over 25 years ago, there wasn't even such a thing as a Stampin' Up! website. So lots of changes over the 25 years. Let me tell you, though, something that has not changed. Three things, I think, that come to mind that have not changed over these 25 years. Number one, enjoying a discount on my supplies. Like, okay, well, fabulous, right? We love, everybody loves the discount. So that has not changed. I love that. A second thing is, like I mentioned, the community, other people, demonstrators, stampers, crafters of all kinds. I mean, I've met quilters and people who knit and crochet and paint and all sorts of crafting friends, not just stampers. And then ordering and seeing products early. Like that is, I just can't tell you how excited I get about every new catalog. It is like Christmas morning when you're a kid, right? And you come into the living room or wherever your Christmas tree was and you see all the presents that Santa brought. And that is how I feel about new Stampin' Up! catalogs. I don't know, is that silly? I, I just, I love it. And so every time we get new products, which may be in a new catalog or may be a separate release, like this new butterfly. Oh, let me show you a couple of these cards so you can see what I'm talking about. So this, I made 10 cards last night. So here's one of them. And look at the, the 3D-ness. Is that a word? 
the three dimensionalness. So I've got extra layers of butterflies on top of layers of butterflies. So this is one idea that I made with the new butterfly bouquet. Let me show you another one. This is a, a little more simple idea with just stamped and die cut butterflies, but it's a fun fold. So that's kind of fun. So there's just a couple that I wanted to show you just to get going. But new product, like I was saying, is one of the best reasons to join Stampin' Up! Because as a demonstrator, you get to see the product early and you get to order early. And that is just so much fun. Love, 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 love that aspect of being a demonstrator. So I want to just clear up a couple of concerns, or I wouldn't really call them a myth, but you know, a concern. I know that a lot of people will look at a demonstrator like me and say, oh my gosh, this is her full-time business. She's got hundreds of people under her as a demonstrator team. She's got thousands of customers. I can't, I don't have that much time. I don't want to do what she does. That's totally fine. You don't have to. When you join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator, you're joining a community of crafters and uh, both worldwide because you can join a Facebook group that has demonstrators from all over the world, thousands of demonstrators, but you also would be joining my community. We have about 425 currently in my Love to Stamp group. Those are the people who have joined under me in three levels. And we have a private Facebook group. We do like, I, there's so much. We do weekly challenges. We do monthly prize patrols. We share every day any creations that you're making with Stampin' Up! products we share. I have tips. I have stamping tips. I have um, business tips. I have training that I can either do one-on-one -on -one or we have several recorded trainings that you can watch or take part in if you want to. Maybe you're curious about how to use Pinterest or Instagram or um, PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a great place that you can edit your photos and make collages. And that's what I use for a lot of my social media posts. So maybe you're looking for that kind of information. I have that for you. Or maybe you're just looking for the discount and friends and fellow crafters. We have that too. So I just wanted to get that out there right away so that if you're thinking, oh, be a demonstrator. Oh, I don't, you know, I can't do that. I don't want to, I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours a day. That's fine. You don't have to. You can enjoy the discount enjoy the catalogs early, enjoy ordering early, and enjoy a community of friends. And that's really what it's all about. So, boy, circling back to my, <laughs> this is what I was started to say, was that if you are thinking about joining, those three things have not changed over the 25 years. So I hope that you will consider that. And when I'm done, I'm going to pop a link up at the top of this video for more information if you are looking to just hear sort of more Q&A, more details. But if you have questions, I would like you to ask because I would like to answer them as we go through these new products. So I'm going to give you a minute. I'm just going to glance down here um, just to see. I, I, do, I knew that there, there was a question that went by that I wanted to cover. Oh, Cindy, that fun fold has been on my blog several times. I will try to link to that as well. Glad you liked that. Let's see. Oh, I'm glad you like the dimension on those butterflies. Oh, yes. The new catalogs, they're so great, aren't they? Absolutely. So this new butterfly bouquet bundle, this is something that demonstrators can pre-order right now, or you can put this in your starter kit. We'll talk about the starter kit more in a minute. But it consists of a stamp set and dies and then two packs of paper. So let me show you just like up close and personal. So this is the stamp set. I mean, almost you kind of can't call it a set in a way because it's just one big stamp. And I was using it last night on the large clear block, the largest clear block. So that's what I was using. You could also use this in your stamp apparatus. So that's one part of this new release. And then the dies, actually there's so many that it's two full sheet. So you have 
the outline that will cut out all those butterflies. I'm going to show you that as well as more detailed. And when you saw that sample that I just showed you with the detailed uh, butterfly on top, I was using this one. So I'll show you that again. So that is the detailed butterfly on top of a solid butterfly behind. So that is how you can work those together. Also in this release, we have a six by six pack of designer paper and I kind of fanned them out. Put this, I found this gigantic paper clip. I've had this thing for like hundreds of years. <laughs> so I kind of fanned them out so you could see. So you have everything from big butterflies that you can die cut to different smaller patterns as well as just some sort of background patterns. And I'm going to show you here what I did with some of those. Just hang on one second because I want to show you the fourth thing. And it's this beautiful wood grain paper. It's very lightweight. You can see it's like really bendy and you can see it has a sheen to it. But it has this beautiful wood grain. Isn't that pretty? This would go with a lot of things in our catalog. Not necessarily just with butterflies. But let me show you what I was playing around with. So the first thing I want to show you is that large die. If you cut it right out of this piece, you can see that it matches up. With, oh, hello. <laughs> you can see that it matches up with those big butterflies. And so then you would get some of them are still in the bag here, then you would get these beautiful die cut butterflies. So that is like step number one, super easiest way to use the butterfly die and the designer paper. So there's like step one. But then, wait, there's more. Then I thought, well, what if you used the big stamp and you stamped it on one of the designer papers. So this is one of the patterns in the pack. Here's the other side, that's beautiful. I made cards with that as well. But I stamped it right on there, and then I used the die to cut them out. So I have what I would just call like pre-colored butterflies. So depending on where you stamp on that sheet, ah, they're flying you would get different colors. And I did make some cards with that. So here's one of them. So that is just the butterflies stamped on that paper and then die cut out. No extra coloring. I think I, well, I barely colored in the body with a light smoky slate marker, but like that doesn't really count. That's not really coloring, right? So that's one idea just layered onto the background paper. And I thought that was really pretty. Super easy. So again, it's just stamping on that paper and die cutting them out. No extra coloring, no shading. Easy, easy. So I just saw a question. When is this released? Mary, uh, Marianne is asking. So this, like I was saying, this is for demonstrator pre-order now. And on March 2nd, it will be released to customers. So I just wanted to show you this because if you are like me and you love to get things early and you love to get going on all the new stuff, this is something you could put in your starter kit or order on a demonstrator order if you're a demonstrator now. But you can wait until March 2nd if you're a customer and you want to remain a customer. That's completely fine. Totally fine. And then you could order this on March 2nd. Okay, so let's look at another one. Same idea. So I stamped it on this pattern, which is really busy. You can see that's a really busy pattern. And you might think, oh, I'm not sure about that. But wait, look how pretty when these are die cut and it all die cuts at once with that really big die look how pretty i mean they're just they're really amazing looking and again no extra coloring it's just simply like just stamped and die cut let me find one of those samples here so there's one and i just lined three of them up on that front flap which i kind of cut down so that it shows some paper inside and put some prettiness inside, and that's it. 
So super easy, no extra work, just stamp it and die cut it. I think that turned out really pretty. I will say one thing I did to all of these cards is I flicked Wink of Stella on like every card because I mean, you just have to have pretty sparkly butterflies, right? <laughs> so that is an idea with that paper. And so, and that's what it looks like. So when you die cut it, then you would have that. I suppose you could sort of use that on a card somehow. Uh, I didn't, but I used the die cut butterflies. All right, let me show you some other beautiful cards. Well, okay, I think they turned out beautiful. I love them. So this one, I just sort of let that background paper, and this is all in that butterfly pack, by the way. I just let that paper sort of be this beautiful, subtle background, and I pulled out three of the colors from the paper and just put the butterflies on top. I did the same little trick where the detailed butterfly is on top of one of the solid butterflies, and I just sort of mixed and matched. I mean, as long as they were the same size of butterfly. But I, I just thought that that was really pretty. And I've got Wink of Stella like flicked everywhere. I don't, I don't think that's probably sparkling. But trust me, it's so pretty in person. It's really gorgeous. Now, if you just wanted to use the stamp as a background, that's what I did on this card. So it's Seaside Spray on Basic White. Just super simple. That's all I did on the background. Just a round die cut and then a die cut butterfly. Super simple. And I did add this striped edge here. This is from the True Love paper. Um, you don't have to. It wouldn't need that. But in person, it really looks nice picking up the black and then the black. It, it does look really nice in person. I'm not sure if it's coming out that great on camera, but I, I loved this in person. So let me see. Let me, I'm going to scroll back and just see if there were questions. Yeah, maybe a mask. You could maybe, where did I put that? You could maybe use this as a mask and your blending brushes, and you could just um, do a background on a card front. That'd be beautiful. It's a good idea. I'm glad I kept it. Thank you, Katie. That's a great idea. Uh, let's see, any other questions? I'm just scrolling back just to see if anybody had a question. Yes, Mary, customers are a wonderful thing. I am not saying that everybody needs to sign up, but let's talk for a minute about the benefits of the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. You heard me mention that earlier. Let me show you in the Celebration Catalog. Right now, Stampin' Up! is offering an extra incentive to join. So do you see all this paper? Look at that. Five packs of designer paper is a freebie in your starter kit. And these are the different color families from Stampin' Up! And I fanned out here. Let me just show you what the patterns are. So these are going to be, here's the patterns. And these are going to be in the new catalog that starts in May. And you know how we always have six by six packs with all the color families. And usually every year the patterns change. So these will be the new patterns. And you get all of those as a gift from Stampin' Up! when you join by the end of celebration, which is February 28th, 2021. You also pick $125 in product from the catalog of your choice. Now, when I signed up, they just sent you a box of stuff. So you've got it better now, let me tell you, because some of the things I was like, oh my goodness, what do I do with this? I didn't even know what to do with some of the things. So this way you pick what you want, which is great. So you select, like you go on a shop, shopping spree for $125 and you pay $99. So there's a $26 discount right there and you get free shipping. So that's like another $13, no, $12.50 discount. Sorry, don't want to overstate anything <laughs> because you get free shipping on that. So that would be your starter kit. Plus you get all that paper in it. 
and then that would mean you're a demonstrator. But like I said earlier, that doesn't mean you have to do videos and parties and sell to your friends. You can just enjoy the discount. I like to call those happy shoppers. And then you can join my team and you can share your creations and get ideas and be part of our events that we do online. And well, when we can do in-person ones, we will again, but we've been doing everything online virtually, either Facebook or Zoom. And it's just a great community and plus the 20% discount. So you can't beat the deal. So this is just something I'm telling you about. Um, let me see. There was a couple of questions. Hang on one second here. Uh, oh, thank you. I'll talk about the blending brush holder in just a minute, Kathleen. Yeah, gorgeous bonus paper. Susan said, can demonstrators buy these? In December, we were allowed to pre-order this if you wanted to so that we could show it and use it in our marketing. But you'll be able to buy that in May when the new catalog launches as a demonstrator. Yes. All right. And then let's see. Oh, Marlene is asking, do you still get a paper pumpkin? As far as I know, yes. Stampin' Up! is putting a random past paper pumpkin kit in your starter kit as a gift. And so that way, if you don't know about paper pumpkin, you would have one to work with and to show your friends and to use. So yes, as far as I know, yes. Oh, Leticia, you are so sweet. She says your team is the bestest. Leticia is one of my amazing Love to Stamp group members. She is so talented and she does so many Facebook lives and she shares so much with our group. And she has the best positive attitude. I just love Leticia. So thank you for commenting. You are a dear. I, I love you. And there are several other of my team members on here as well. I've seen Tammy and Jason and Robin. There's several of you that I've seen on here. You are all amazing. And I, um, I just love my whole family of demonstrators. Yes. Oh, and Diantha's here too. Yay. Hi, Genevieve. Oh, so many hearts going by. Thank you. You are so sweet. So sweet. So shall we look at a couple more samples that I have of this butterfly bouquet? It's not really a suite. I would call it a collection. I don't even know what they call it. Well, it's a bundle and coordinating paper is what they're saying. So yeah, a, a collection. You can get the collection all as one ordering code or you can buy things separately as well. So again, that is for demonstrators now. You could put it in your starter kit now or as a customer, you can get it March 3rd. Okay, so let's look at some more of these. Oh, hi, Tammy. Yes, we do have an incredible family. Ah, uh, Teresa's on here too. Hi, so good to see you on here. Hey, Donna from Australia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's look at a couple other samples. This one I used that pretty wood grain paper on the back, uh, well, on the background. So let's look at that paper again. So this is what the wood grain paper looks like. It has a sheen to it, and it has beautiful wood grain. And I put it in the background, and I sort of based this card loosely on a sample that one of the artisans had posted. Um, hers had different paper and a, and a circle, but, well, okay, so it was sort of, the background's the same. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so you can see that these butterflies I've just attached in the middle under their body. And then I let the wings just sort of flap up or lift up. Yep. So that is one idea. And let's see, what was I going to say about this one? Um, I don't know. Well, I just tried to use all the different papers. So here's that larger butterfly pattern in the background and just a simple different fold where you cut an inch off the front flap and then let the inside paper show through. And this greeting is from many messages. It's the one where it's a whole big, I have it right here, hang on. It's a whole big stamp. I just leave it in my stamparatus because I've been stamping with it. And then it has a die that cuts out all of those greetings at once. And this greeting, it says, I'm, I know it's backwards, I'm sorry. It says, be strong, be brave, you've got this. 
And I loved this. I have friends going through chemo or cancer treatments, and I thought this would be a really uplifting greeting and just as well as sort of a just sort of a thinking of you uplifting sort of a card. I don't know. What do you think? I thought that would be pretty. And then I put pastel pearls for their um, little heads. So that was another idea. I've got a couple more to show you. This one, I wanted to go for sort of the monarch butterfly look, get away from the pastel colors, the, well, the lighter colors of this package. And so I did the black and white and orange and yellow. And this greeting I also thought was great. Uh, you are amazing. It's from the set called You Are Amazing. And I thought this was great because I think butterflies are pretty amazing just, you know, because of how they... Um, you know, turn into a butterfly. I mean, I think it's like really cool. So um, yeah, just the black and white. The black and white paper is from True Love. You can just barely see that. There we go. You can barely see that it's that flower pattern, but I just wanted that black and white. And then I did that black sparkly ribbon and a little butterfly inside. So that was that one. And then the last of the 10 cards is this one and I've used yet another paper and more die cut butterflies and this one says happy to hear of your exciting news congratulations I thought this could be a baby card it could be a, you know just anything that somebody has accomplished but this is a fun I mean it's hardly a fun fold because okay like there's the card, right? It's just a folded card. You scored it to an eighth, but then you flip that front part back. And I've done this before. But what's fun is you match up this die with this die so that when it's closed, you don't see that inside one. And then you open it and it's there. So that makes sense. I've done this one before, but I just thought this was kind of pretty. Yes, baby card, it would it would be a cute card for almost anything. But anyway, those are my 10 butterfly samples and a little bit of my story and my thoughts behind joining Stampin' Up! And I wanted to answer your questions. So I'm going to spend a few minutes. If you have questions, I would love to answer them. Anything about my Stampin' Up! journey over the 25 years, about being a demonstrator. I should say that we have demonstrators in our group, I believe in all 50 states. We have men and women. We have several men on our team. So I don't want you to think like, you know, oh, she lives in San Francisco. So, um, I, you know, I can only be a demonstrator if I'm in her area. I have demonstrators all over. And we, are, we connect through our Facebook group mostly. So that's a great way to, you know, connect with us. Um, Cindy is asking about, she wants to learn how to do a fun fold. Cindy, if you go to my blog, pattystamps.com, in the search bar, type fun fold, you will see dozens and dozens of fun folds and the instructions. So I hope that will help you. And a lot of them have videos to go with them. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you. Cindy loves my butterfly samples. Yes, great baby card. Leticia, how can you forget about ribbon? <laughs> ah, will I have photo, photos of these? Yes, I will definitely be sharing these. Probably closer to March 2nd when these are available to the public, but I will start sharing a few of them before that, and then I will make sure that all of them get on my blog by the beginning of March. Oh, I know what I need to tell you. Hang on here. So these two papers are limited time only. So all of this beautiful paper you've seen me use, these are limited time. These will be in the new catalog in May. But if this runs out during the March promotion, it's gone. So whenever it runs out, this paper is gone. So be sure if you want this paper, number one best thing to do would be to sign up as a demonstrator, put it in your starter kit, or 
on your first demonstrator order. Like that would be the best thing because then you know you're going to get it because who knows, it could be possible that this paper runs out in early March because it's so popular and people will be buying it as on a customer order. I don't know. I mean, I have no clue how many they've ordered or how many people they stampin' up thinks they're going to order it. But if you love, like I do, this paper and all these ideas and die cutting the butterflies and all of that, stamping on that paper, then you would definitely want to get this sooner rather than later. And I'm sorry I forgot to say that earlier. I know about 50 people just jumped off <laughs> off of this and I, they're probably not going to see that, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Um, let's see. Thank you. Beautiful cards. Thank you. Do the butterfly dies cut out those also? Oh, Judy is asking about butterfly paper we've had in the past. I don't keep any retired paper, so I'm sorry I don't have it to know. And I'm I'm sorry about that, but I can't answer that for you. Uh, yeah, Katie, for UK, you'd have to work out a little bit of conversion on dimensions. Um, I was just having a fun conversation about that with a, a UK demonstrator. Oh, yeah, the blending brush holder. So this is... This was on my blog on Wednesday, I believe. So this is the Stampin' Storage Blending Brush Holder. It holds 25 brushes. There's all different sizes. I did spray paint it yesterday. So if you go back to pattystamps.com and you look at the post I had earlier this week, I believe it was the 10th, you'll see that that was just the regular... Um, Hang on, I had the, mm, sorry, I don't know where their flyer went. I had their flyer out here. Mm, it seems to be gone. Um, it just comes in the regular wood. And so that's on my blog post. It was like that, but then I posted here on Facebook yesterday about spray painting it. And I love it. I think it looks really nice. And I love that it matches the color of the um, handles. So it's from Stampin' Storage. All the links are on that blog post. If you go to pattystamps.com, scroll back a couple days, you'll see all of those. Uh, let's see. Any other? Yep, Stamparatus. You can use that with this big butterfly stamp, of course. Yes, Martin. I Hey, Martin. <laughs> this paper is going to be super popular. Okay, thank you. Jennifer says it's not the right shape for the old butterfly designer paper. Thank you for answering. Thanks, Leticia. Yeah, I love how it turned out with the spray paint. And I put the color, the name of the color and the brand on my Facebook. Um, this business page that you're on is where that post is. And you'll see that yesterday if you want that same color. I think it was called rubbed, bron rubbed oiled bronze, something like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I would like to answer your questions if you have any about being a demonstrator, enjoying the discount, enjoying the products early, the community of stampers that Stampin' Up! offers worldwide and with my particular group nationwide. I would love to answer your questions if you have any. Um, please ask. I'm here. If you want to know anything about my 25 years, about you know, how I joined, why I joined, whatever. I would love to just chat with you for a little bit. Yes. Oh, Leticia, thanks for reminding me. I saw that on one of Leticia's videos. She showed that you can use the current butterfly punch on some of the, um, the designer paper. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's talk about that, Jill. So Jill is saying, how much is it monthly? So it's actually quarterly. Um, when you are a demonstrator, there are four quarters in a year, as you know, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So those are the four quarters of the year. And each of those quarters, Stampin' Up! requires that you place $300 in orders. Now that can be your shopping. It could be you and friends. It could be that you're doing parties and workshops. It could be classes. It can be any type of orders, 300 per quarter. 
But when you join, they give you like, let's call it a free pass. So if you joined now, we are in the January, February, March quarter. You don't have to submit any orders. You would have till the end of June to submit 300. But the good news is everything you order between now and the end of June would count. So your starter kit doesn't count because it's so deeply discounted and you get the free shipping and you get all that free paper. So that $99 does not count. But starting with your first demonstrator order, say you wanted to get going on this butterfly thing or you wanted to get some things with celebration gifts. So anything you would order from like today through the end of June counts towards your 300 so that's how the minimums work. Thank you for asking that. That is a super great question. Let's see. So that was Jill. I hope that helped. Let me know. Thank you, Susan. She says she's grateful for me sharing my amazing, amazing ideas. That's very kind of you. Oh, yes. Marilyn is asking about an error logging on today. There is a known issue with the Stampin' Up! I think I, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I think what it is, is it's something to do with the servers more on the East Coast, because it seems to be people that are in the Eastern United States that are having issues. I've heard from customers and team members and other demonstrators. They are working on it. So if you get an error when you either try to place an order or log into the demonstrator site or sign up as a demonstrator, whatever it is, and you're getting an order, an error today, it's a known issue and I'm sorry they are working on it. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're welcome, Jill. I'm glad that helped. Yeah, I know there are issues and I'm sorry about that today. So today, if you're watching live is February 12th and there is an issue known today. Yeah. So any questions, any other questions? That was a great question from Jill. And if there are other questions, um, I would love to answer them. Thank you. Leticia enjoys our marvelous team meetings. We have really fun events. We do a lot of stamping. We have a packet and we have presentations. And like I said, right now it's all online because of the restrictions of sheltering in place. But yeah, uh, Teresa says, what time does your live start? Every Friday at 11. I post a reminder about two hours ahead, sometimes the day ahead, but ahead, <laughs> but every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Yep, so we are just wrapping up, but you are welcome to watch the replay. They're all archived here, and I put them on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog. Oh, Robin, that was something else. That was a broken link issue yesterday, so that's not about the thing today. Any other questions about uh, enjoying the discount, seeing the new products early, ordering early? Um, enjoying the community of stampers that we have. Leticia says, have I always been crafty? That is a great question. So yes, when I was a little girl, and I mean, probably starting about like eight years old, my mother and my grandmother got me into embroidery and then cross stitch. So that was like my early love. Um, I loved paper dolls. And maybe you can't really, can you consider that crafty? I don't know, <laughs> but yes. And then with Girl Scouts, I'm sure one of the first badges I did was my crafting badge. And I remember doing some cross stitch and needlepoint and embroidery for that. And then I got into stickers. I loved stickers. I loved um, making you know, like cute little pages and writing to my pen pals. And then in 1980, I think, is about when I got my first rubber stamps. Okay, I remember I got a teddy bear and a rainbow and a heart. And I would stamp at the top of a piece of stationery or I would stamp on an envelope and I was stamping. I thought that's all there was to stamping. And then I saw heat embossing with gold powder and I was like, what is this? What does this mean? What is all of this? And that's how I really got into stamping. And it has just, okay, that's been a lot of years. Has that been 40 years. Oh my gosh, it has. That's a long time. <laughs> and back in the beginning, my entire stamp collection fit in this size of a box. Like 
I had all my crafting supplies in this size of a box. Now I have this fun little space and it's little. This is eight feet by eight feet square. This is my crafting space. I've got it all crammed in here. <laughs> so yes, it has evolved. <laughs> Ah, oh, sisters from another mister. <laughs> oh, let's see. There must have, hang on. There must have been a question. Oh, here it is. Marlene says, I'm a hobby demonstrator and my leader is dropping. Can I join another team? So here's how it works with Stampin' Up. If you are a demonstrator and you don't have an upline, your upline has dropped away or yeah, dropped away or quit or whatever, you can join under a different group. You have to drop yourself and then you have to repurchase the starter kit. You get a new demonstrator number and you would join a new team. If your upline is active and you want to be in a different group, then you have to drop, you have to, I mean, like quit. You have to tell Stampin' Up! you're quitting for 90 days and you can join a different team. Now, I, I'm not encouraging that. Please don't get me wrong. I'm just answering the question and giving you facts. I know that there are groups and teams that do a lot and are very supportive and very active and very fun. And I would encourage you to stay with your team. If you don't have that kind of support, I understand that frustration. And so I'm giving you the facts. And that is how you would be able to um, rejoin with a different group. So I hope that helped. Let's see. Thank you, Melissa. She says, uh, loves my cards today. Thank you. Yep, pen pals. Genevieve, oh my gosh, I used to have pen pals, either friends that had moved away, or I know I, I wrote to somebody in Europe somewhere. I don't remember exactly. That was probably either through Girl Scouts or maybe just through school or something. But I remember doing that. Oh, I loved writing letters. Yep, you can never have enough. That is so true. I'm just reading your comments. Bridget says, what do I do with my retired products? So I donate a lot of retired products. I keep a little bit. If it's something to do with like golf and bowling, which my husband and son enjoy, I keep those sets or dies or whatever. Um, if it's got penguins, I keep it because penguins are my thing. I love penguins. And that's really about all I keep. Everything else I need to pass along. So I donate a lot. I, this past year and in years before, I have done mystery boxes. So when customers purchase a minimum amount that, you know, it's different each year, I pack a big box full of retired products and ship it off to them as a gift. Sometimes I've sold on eBay. Um... I guess that's about it. That's what I do with my re retired products. If I had a huge space and I had room, maybe I had like a whole storage, like walk-in closet or something, I would keep more retired things, but I just don't have space. So that's what I do. Oh, you're welcome, Melissa. I'm so glad you're enjoying everything. Let's see. Cindy is asking about, she's not on a demons on my demonstrator team, but would like to exchange cards. Um, you know, uh, thank you. I would uh, I appreciate your offer, but I send about 60 to 70 cards a week right now to my customers and my team. And I am like stretched to my limit. And I'm sorry that I don't have time to do other card exchanges. I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I did. But I just literally crank out as many as I can to keep up with what I have to keep on top of. So I don't do other card swaps or other exchanges. And I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but um, I just do as much as I can right now. Oh, good. Robin says she's going to be playing with the butterflies. Awesome. Let's see. Oh, here's a great question. So Leticia is asking, when did I know was the right time to leave my day job and make Stampin' Up! my full-time job? So, of course, this is going to be different for everybody. But here's what happened with me, with my experience. So in 1978, fresh out of high school, 
I started working in the structural engineering field. That was what I wanted to do. I actually started, okay, I actually started in 1974 at the beginning of high school in an architectural firm working with my dad. I was the blueprint girl. I even ran the switchboard. <laughs> I did Xeroxing. I got into the drafting part of it. I love, my field was architecture and engineering. I love that world. In 1978, I started with a structural engineer and I, that's how I met my husband in 1984. He hired me as a structural engineering drafter and we worked together for many years and our son was born in 1991 and I worked from home at, in the drafting and we had a drafting table and then I did that through until Jason was nine, eight or nine. I was doing Stampin' Up! and the structural drafting at the same time. I had my own business. I was a consultant for other engineering firms doing drafting. And we got to a point where we said, okay, we've got the drafting table. We've got the computer. We've got all this crafting stuff. We are busting at the, at the seams. <laughs> Something's got to give here. And so I decided, we decided, not I, we decided that we would try to see if Stampin' Up! could become my full-time career. And of course, back then I was doing many, many, many events every month, classes, workshops. Um, we didn't have blogging back then. But I was doing many, many, many in-person events with my team and my customers. And it was working. Thankfully, cost of living wasn't as high 30 years ago. And I didn't need to depend on a lot of income from my Stampin' Up! business, but I, I was earning income. And then as I got my blog, I started blogging, we got online ordering, I could reach customers all over the United States. That's when it really exploded. And that's when my Stampin' Up! job became my full-time income and has really helped us through many hard times. When my husband lost his job for three years, um, it was Stampin' Up! that kept us going. And uh, it's more than a blessing. I mean, I can't even say how much of a blessing it was, but it was more of a leap of faith, Leticia, to just say, okay, there is never going to be the absolute perfect time. Like, when is there ever the absolute perfect time to like spend money on a car or buy a new house or have a child or right there? There's really no absolute perfect time ever for anything, but it was a leap of faith and I did it. And that was about four or five years into my doing Stampin' Up! and drafting at the same time is when we said, okay, let's, let's let the drafting go and let's, let's do Stampin' Up! full time. And what's really fun, I don't know if many of you know this, but our son, he will be 30 next month. 30! Oh my gosh, can't believe it. But our son is in the same field now. He works with my husband in the same engineering office. So they do the structural engineering, the drafting, the um, trust reviews, the energy calculations, like all of that stuff. So I get to hear about that every night. And I still have like my brain and my thoughts are still in that world that I love. I wish I could do, still do both. I love the whole construction field, the engineering, the architecture, all of that. But I just don't have enough hours. So my time is spent doing Stampin' Up! And I still get to hear about that world. So that was like a really long answer, but aren't you glad you asked? <laughs> but yeah, that that transition of doing Stampin' Up! full time is a leap of faith and is not for everyone. I'm not going to say that everyone is going to be able to make a full time income. I, I am not saying that whatsoever, but the timing was perfect for me. God has blessed me abundantly and I have done my best to keep up and change with the times and learn new things like Facebook Live, whoever would have thought. If you would have told me 30 years ago I would be doing something like this, I'd be like, never, no way. I was so shy. I could barely do 
a Stampin' Up! workshop. I could barely talk to strangers. I could barely order in a restaurant. I was so shy. Not so much anymore. <laughs> Stampin' Up! has done great things for my self-confidence and um, just finding other like-minded crafters who get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. I'm going to look back through. Yes, that's how we met Jill. My husband hired me in a structural engineering office in 1984 and we got married in 1986. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, Jill, thank you so much. Yeah, it was a definite leap of faith. Thank you, Robin. Yep. Oh, good, Leticia. I'm glad you love it. <laughs> it was a long story, wasn't it? <laughs> Any other questions? These are great questions because I know that when you have a question, other people are thinking the same thing. And I'm happy to answer. I'm happy to help you with um, either a decision or just a thought process. I know it can be scary and just being a customer is wonderful. I'm I'm so thankful for all my customers and I'm not saying that all my customers need to join, but I always like to give you your options as well. Thank you, Tina. She loves my story. <laughs> thank you. And Mary Ann, she has been a customer for so long. I'm so glad you're on here. And oh, thank you. She said she's learned so much from me. Thank you. I am glad. So glad. So any other questions? Oh, Leticia, pick my brain anytime. I'm happy to answer. I'm happy to share. Excuse me, I'm just, I'm getting a little dry. It's a lot of talking. <laughs> so any other questions, either about the butterfly bundle that we looked at or about Stampin' Up, about being a demonstrator, about um, the discount, you do start at 20% off and then you can progress up to 25% off plus extra commission. So it's not just the 20%. You can earn extra. Um, so Kristen, tell me more. She says she's new to Stampin' Up! Not sure where to start. Are you a customer or a demonstrator? Oh, thank you, Teresa. My favorite color ever, Poppy Parade. Definitely love that color. Love it. Melissa says, is it best to buy from the current catalog or wait for the new one? Well, buy whatever you love. Like that's my number one answer. If there's something in this catalog that you love, buy it. Because when the retiring list comes out, then things start to sell out. So you don't want to wait until the retiring list is out and then find that things have run out. So definitely buy what you love. That's my, oh, number one tip, buy what you love. Let's see, if we join, does the butterfly bundle pop up as an option to order? Okay, so that's a good question. Um, I don't know. So what I need to do, give me a minute when this video is done, I will type in these ordering codes in the description of this video so that you have those. Um, I'm, oh gosh, I don't know if that comes up or not. That's a good question. So let me give you that info so that if you want to join and you want to type these numbers in for your starter kit, that you'll have that information. That's a great point. In fact, let me just write that down right here on this flyer because I don't want to forget. So I'm going to post the codes for this. And what was the other thing I told you that I was going to post something right at the end of this. Oh, just the link with more info so that you can click that link. You can read more info and then you'll have the join link if you want to join. Uh, oh yes. Ruth says it's early in Australia. She'll watch the beginning. Yeah. We're just wrapping up. I think we've been on uh, for almost, almost an hour. So you are welcome to watch the replay. You're welcome, Teresa. Any other questions I can answer for you before I let you go? It's almost lunchtime here. We have beautiful weather today. We have blue sky and sunny. It's a little chilly, but it's beautiful. And since here in the San Francisco Bay Area, restaurants are still not open. Oh, 53 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
Restaurants are still not open, and so there are some patios that are open. Some restaurants are serving out on a patio, or you can order food and take it out on a patio. So my husband's working from home today, and we are going to go eat out on a patio <laughs> for lunch. Yay! It's kind of like going out. <laughs> You're welcome, Sandy. Oh, Leticia says, my favorite product? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Mm, that is so hard. Can I pick a couple of sweets? <laughs> I love the Love You Always sweet, the Hydrangea sweet, and the True Love. Or wait, is that the same thing? The one with the black and white paper. Um, those like are my favorites right now. Yeah, um, I'm loving the blending brushes. Oh my gosh, those are awesome. You know, one thing I wanted to tell you, let me find the card. It's this one. On this card, speaking of blending brushes, I use the blending brush to go over just a little bit of color on the outside and then right down the middle. And I wanna just tell you on those little teeny die cut antennae, the blending brush just went right over it. Didn't mess them up, didn't bend them or anything. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed with those blending brushes. I just wanted to tell you that. Like that's just a side note. Uh, let's see. Oh, Cindy says she's in San Leandro. Yep. I lived in Hayward and in Pleasanton, and now I'm in Hercules. Yep. My favorite tool. Leticia is full of questions. Wink of Stella. Definitely. How many hours do I work each day? 10, sometimes 12. A lot. Um, but here's why. Let me tell you why. When my husband lost his job, uh, it's been like 12 years ago now, he was out of work for three years. And I had no choice at the time than to just totally ramp up Stampin' Up! as my more than full-time business because I did not want to lose our house and our cars. Our son was still in private school in high school. We wanted to keep him in private school. I didn't want to lose all that. I mean, we had built up for like, what, 20, 25 years? Yeah, about 25 years. And I did not want to lose any of what we had built for our whole married life. So I just like nose to the grindstone, did everything I could. And <laughs> that's when I started working these crazy hours, like 10, 12 hours a day. Ever since then, I have not been able to stop. I am like crazy person, workaholic person, but I love it. And Stampin' Up! has been such a blessing that I have been able to earn a really good income and, you know, put money away for retirement and save money and go on trips and purchase, you know, when we need a new car or whatever, right? Um, so for me, it works for me. Now, I am not the norm. Most people are not going to work this much at Stampin' Up! And I don't expect people to. But you asked, I answered. <laughs> I don't have assistants. Once in a while, I have somebody that will help me with like stickers on catalogs. Sometimes my husband helps with that. Um, sometimes a demonstrator or a friend will help. Sometimes I will give other demonstrators some die cutting to do for me. But that's only a couple times a year. So... I am a one-man band, one-man show, and it's okay. I love it. I absolutely love it, and I am blessed. So that's my story with that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Cindy is asking um, about commission. So we earn, like I said, you start at 20% commission, and then it goes up from there. And so depending on your sales in a month, you could go up to 38% commission. So she's asking when I have sold a million dollars, how much did I really make? Well, that was over 20 years. That first million was over a 20 year period. So um, you can do the math and figure out that commission, but you know, it's not the same every month. It depends how much you sell. So, I mean, I can't give you a figure. I don't know what the figure is exactly. And then I sold my second million 
and um, I am close to 2.3 million now. So that's where I am in sales. Uh, let's see. Kirsten says, I got my Stampin' Emboss machine. It's not working. Contact Stampin' Up. Um, I don't think you're one of my customers. If you are, I apologize. I don't recognize your name, but definitely contact Stampin' Up. All right. Let's see. Oh, uh, that's, I'm not going to answer exact money questions, Cindy. Sorry. I'm, um, but I'm, I'm just, I'm happy with my income and being able to put some away. Yep. My one man band woman power. That is me, Teresa. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Any other questions I can help answer? Um, I don't want this to drag on too long, but I am happy to stay with you and answer questions. Um, anything about the starter kit, about the butterflies we were talking about, any of that. I'm happy to answer questions. Yes, um, it was almost a year ago that I hit $2 million. It was on Valentine's Day a year ago. So, well, that's close enough, right? So this Sunday will be one year since I hit $2 million. And um, very exciting. That was fun. Yeah, $2 million, and now I'm almost at $2.3 million. Yay. Oh, good, Robin. Thank you. I'm glad you learned. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Thanks, Sharon. So sweet of you. What else is involved with the starter kit? Okay. So let me go over the starter kit one more time. Oh, and Tina, that's a good question. I'll answer that. So starter kit, you pick whatever you want out of the current catalogs. You don't get to pick hostess sets though, but current merchandise or um, the butterflies we were talking about, or you can pick out of the um, clearance rack as well. 125, you pick, you pay 99, you get free shipping. You do pay sales tax. Your state is going to want that sales tax. So you do pay sales tax. And then like I showed you all these, these five packs of paper you get from Stampin' Up! as a gift. And then you also get, they call it business supplies, so catalogs, order forms, and things that you would need if you were going to go out and do a workshop or a class. So that's the starter kit. They would send you a congratulations email. Thank you for joining with your demonstrator ID. And then in a separate email, you would get your uh, password. And then you can log on to the demonstrator website. And I would also get an email and send you a welcome email. So that's how it works. And then that's it. And then you are officially able to order with your discount and be a part of my Love to Stamp group. Yeah. So, oh, that's a good question, Joanna. I'll answer that as well. Tina asked, what was the process of designing my own set? So when you hit 1 million in sales, you get to design a stamp set. And I designed the um, Ribbon of Courage set. I think it's right here. So that's one that I'll never get rid of either. So that was the set that I designed for my $1 million in sales. And it was uh, had dyes that went with it. And it was inspired by my mom because I lost my mom to cancer. And I have a whole video on that. <laughs> that was hard to get through, by the way, but I did. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was my $1 million set. But we don't get to do another one at $2 million or beyond. So... Yeah, that was it. My one shot. And let's see. Oh, Joanna said, how did I get over my nerves to run classes? That took a long time. I, my poor husband, I made him listen to my practice, like doing a workshop in front of him over and over and over. And I think just the answer was just keeping on doing it and doing it over and over and over. Do you want to hear a funny story about my first workshop? It's short. So I really didn't know what I was doing. I'd never been to a workshop. I didn't know how to do a, a workshop. I didn't really know. I literally took every stamp set, every marker, every ink pad, every color of cardstock. I put it in the middle of the dining room table and I was like, let's make cards. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, that was pretty funny. It's a wonder I'm still a demonstrator. <laughs> but yeah, I learned. <laughs> That's not what you do. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
Kristen says she loves watching my videos. Oh, she's in Ottawa. Yeah, just contact Stampin' Up, definitely, about your Stamp Cut and Emboss. Good, I'm glad you've enjoyed all of this. Oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Genevieve. Oh, Leticia says, I'll never get rid of your $1 million set. I hope, I think a lot of people will not get rid of this set. I think it has so many uses. It does not have to be cancer. Um, I, like I said, I designed it because of breast cancer and in honor of my mom. But um, it's, you can use this ribbon for in any color for anything. So many different uses. How long does it take to get all the inventory? Can you be a little more specific, Pat? I'm not exactly sure what you meant. Thank you, Teresa. Oh, you all are loving that set. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Uh, yeah, let's make cards. That's what I said, Leticia. Advice for a new demonstrator? Share what you love. Make cards for people. Give out cards. Tell people about your business. Tell them that you can teach them how to make cards or like right now, well, it's kind of getting a little bit late for uh, Valentine's, but for party favors, for weddings, for bridal showers, tell people that you can help them make these things. And that if, I mean, you can sell your things too, if you, if they don't want to make them, but you make them and sell your um, creations, you can do that as well. I don't have time to sell creations, so I just teach people how, but um yeah, make cards and hand them out and tell people about your business. That's my number one piece of advice. And second thing, buy the things you love. Don't feel obligated or pressured to buy something that you don't love. Like I, you know me, I love flowers. Almost, I'd say half of my stamp sets are flowers. That's my thing. I love flowers. And I think it shows when you love what you buy and you love what you're sharing, I think it shows and people are excited. And if you're, I was going to, never mind. I won't say anymore. Just buy what you love. There you go. <laughs> oh, so Pat is saying all the, the cardstock pads, markers, all the tools. Well, I mean, it depends on your budget and it depends on your goals. If, if your goal is to like teach classes and teach other people how to make things and you're doing videos or you're doing in-person events, then you're going to need to have lots of different colors. You might need multiples of paper snips or bone folders or things like that, um, clear blocks. So it just depends on what your goal is and then set your budget and work towards that. So like I've been a demonstrator almost 26 years. And so you can see I have all the colors. I've got all the ink pads, all the blends, all the punches. And it's because I need those to be able to share every day on my blog. But um, certainly in the beginning, I didn't have all of that stuff. I just bought the few things that I loved and that I wanted to demonstrate. So whatever fits within your budget. Um, oh, good. Awesome. Yes, Genevieve says she's making party favors for her friends for a bridal, bridal shower. That is awesome. Awesome. Well, I think we have come to the end of our questions. Thank you for joining me. I was excited to share with you today and the 10 butterfly samples. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I will run down to my computer after this and I am going to add all those links that I promised you. So give it a minute and watch for those links to appear if you need any of the information we talked about. So thank you again. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next week, Fridays, 11 a.m. Pacific time, and we will be crafting next week. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Valentine's Day, um, and just time with family, friends, you know, whoever you are spending it with. All right. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.